couple months ago, I made a video called The Bluey Iceberg Explained, which, as the title implied, was simply an iceberg video about the show Bluey. And while it wasn't the greatest video, it got a ton of views, thanks to the YouTube algorithm. And with that in mind, not only did a lot of you ask for a sequel, but I found a lot more interesting stuff I'd like to talk about as well. In fact, this video might be as, or even crazier than the first one. So, buckle up. But before we begin, I want to correct some things I said in the last video, as I definitely made a few mistakes in there. So let's start with that. First off, I mentioned that blue healers were a species of dog. This is incorrect, as they are actually a breed of dog. Second, I mentioned an easter egg known as the long dog, but referred to it as the sausage dog by mistake. And finally, the first blue pilot was not made in 2014 as I originally thought. Rather, it was likely made in 2016. And with that in mind, the second pilot was actually released in 2017, not 2016. But with all that said, the time has finally come. It's time to look at the second bluey iceberg. Let's get started. Mackenzie is a boy. Yeah, despite having a name that's typically given to girls, Mackenzie is actually a boy. However, in the Latin American dub, Mackenzie was actually referred to as a girl in early episodes, though this was likely a mistake. Official YouTube Channel Just like most kids shows, Bluey has an official YouTube channel, which mainly uploads clips from episodes, shorts, and other bonus content. Overall, nothing too notable, but it is reportedly blocked in Australia for some reason. Bandit's Expletives When faced with trouble, Characters will often say specific phrases instead of cursing. For instance, Bandit often does this by referring to food, with his most famous line being, Oh, biscuits. The Please Face. The Please Face refers to a running gag in which Bluey characters will make their pupils larger, giving them a more cute and innocent appearance. This is usually done to convince another character to do something, such as Bluey convincing Bandit to play with her. And on top of that, they even make plushies of Bluey and Bingo wearing these faces. Though the design mainly resembles that of Bluey's from the episode Yoga Ball. Diversity In April of 2021, Australian journalist Beverly Wang published an article on ABC News. In this article, she praised Bluey for its lessons and emotional scenes, but also asked if the show could be more diverse. And while the article wasn't harmful in any way, it started a massive debate online, with many arguing that the show was fine the way it is, while others argued that the show could be more diverse. Many also pointed out that the show is already quite diverse and is doing a good job the way it is. And while nothing significant was accomplished, the debate eventually grew outside of the Bluey community and even into mainstream media, so that's something I guess. Bingo intro. For the Season 2 episode titled Bingo, the intro was altered to better fit the episode, with Bingo being the focus by winning the game of musical statues, something typically done by Bluey. And while it isn't that important, it was a pretty interesting detail and really caught people off guard. Baby Bluey In the episode Baby Race, Chili recounts her early days of parenting to Bluey and Bingo, and while Bingo wasn't born yet, an infant version of Bluey is seen throughout the episode in flashbacks. And I know turning characters into babies is beyond overdone, but to be honest, Bluey as a baby is pretty adorable. Bipedal Socks Unlike any other character, Socks walked on all fours, similar to a real dog, as she was too young to walk normally. However, as of Season 2, Socks was seen walking normally, accompanying her increase in age, and while it's an interesting change, many still prefer the original design, and the changes made to her body for this to occur are a bit questionable. The Duck Cake In the episode Duck Cake, 
Bandit attempts to make a duck-shaped cake for Bingo's birthday, and while he fails at first, he eventually succeeds with help from Bluey, and throughout the community, the cake has become famous, mainly due to many fans attempting to make the cake on their own. Smuggling Theory Regarding mysteries and Bluey, one thing that has always stood out is the Gila House, where the main characters live. And while it seems normal, the place would be way too costly for the jobs Bandit and Chippy have. As a result, many have pondered over how they're able to afford it, such as possibly inheriting it from someone else. However, comedian Zach Mander provided a much more interesting, yet dark theory. In a TikTok post, he points out Bandit's job in archaeology and Chili's job in airport security. And according to him, Bandit's job allows him to be close to artifacts, while Chili's job provides her knowledge to bypass security and possibly smuggle said artifacts, giving them the money to support their expensive house. And while the theory likely isn't true, it does provide an interesting explanation and spread quickly amongst Bluey fans. Bluey Mascot Costumes At some special events, fans can actually meet Bluey and Bingo, which are represented by people wearing giant costumes. And while they aren't perfect, I'll admit that they did a decent job capturing their abnormal design without making it that creepy. Pop Culture References Similar to many other shows, Bluey often likes to make nods to other properties and franchises. Some examples include Chili listening to a spoof of Pink Floyd, the family recreating Jurassic Park, and Chili making a reference to Stranger Things. On top of that, they've also made references to many other things, such as Sans from Undertale and even Vine Sauce. Bluey Games As of now, there aren't too many notable Bluey games, but they exist regardless. For example, there's a 5-in-1 set with cards, a board game based off the episode Shadowlands, and a bingo game called... Bingo's Bingo. Ha. Huh. But outside of physical games, there isn't too much to do. On the Bluey website, there are only two games. One where you tap balloons, and another where you dress characters with various props. Oh, wow! However, outside of official games, there are some interesting examples. On the Google Play Store, you have your typical generic platformers, and Bluey has even been modded into games such as Friday Night Funkin'. Anonymous Voice Actors Despite being the main characters, the voice actors for Bluey and Bingo are not publicly known, and they are not credited in episodes. And while this may seem odd, there is a pretty good reason for it, as according to the creators, the characters are voiced by actual kids, and they are not credited in order to keep their identity secret for safety and peace of mind. And while it would be interesting to know, I do respect their intentions and can see how problems would occur, so props to them. Mr. Inbetween Cameo In an episode of the show Mr. Inbetween, the Bluey episode The Magic Xylophone can be seen playing on a TV before it is changed to a sporting game, starting an argument. I have no clue why they chose Bluey of all shows, but I'd like to imagine that someone in prison is actually watching this show. Animation Errors Just like many other shows, Bluey's animation isn't perfect, and while there aren't too many, some goofs have surfaced. And to be honest, most of them are simple things such as objects disappearing in between shots, but there have been some crazy ones such as Bandit losing his black fur coat and Chili's brown patch glitching on her. IKEA DOG For those who don't know, IKEA is basically a furniture store where you buy furniture in pieces, and then assemble it at home with instructions. And in these instructions, there's often a cartoon man there to help provide help in the pictures. And as crazy as this sounds, he's actually spoofed in the Bluey episode Flatpak, where an instruction manual shows a dog drawn in the same style. Bandit even responds by saying that he's, quote, not taking advice from a cartoon dog. Band Episode In the United States, the episode Dad Baby was pulled from airing and is not available on Disney+. 
And while an official answer hasn't been given, it's likely due to the episode's focus on pregnancy, which Disney probably believed was too much for the younger audiences. Five dollar bucks. One running gag in Bluey revolves around Bluey's two fairy money and how it's passed among different characters. For instance, in the episode Mark gets, Bluey gives it to Winton's dad, causing it to pass around multiple vendors and eventually to Indy, who at the end of the episode gives it to the busker. And one whole season later, in the episode The Quiet Game, the busker can be seen spending the exact same bill to buy ice cream, which I think is a pretty cool reference, and I hope we get to see it more in the future. Clothing Another thing that has perplexed Bluey fans is the usage of clothing, as the characters never wear clothes, yet they are seen cleaning them multiple times. And while I don't have a definitive explanation, some have guessed that they're only worn for workplaces and special occasions, which can be seen with characters such as Alfie. Grubber Robert was the name accidentally given to the character Grubber through a set of subtitles, causing many to think that was actually his name. However, Ludo eventually confirmed that his real name was Grubber, ending most of the confusion. Floppy Redesign Floppy is a stuffed rabbit and is one of Bingo's favorite toys, appearing in a few episodes of the show. In the season 1 episode titled Chicken Rat, Floppy appears as a white rabbit with striped ears. However, in the season 2 episode Sleepy Time, Floppy appears as a purple rabbit with shorter ears. I have no clue how this would have happened, but my best guess is that maybe there's two of them, although it's likely just an inconsistency. And speaking of inconsistencies, Uncle Rad redesign. Unlike most characters, Uncle Rad's first appearance wasn't in person, but rather in a picture, many episodes before he actually appeared. However, when looking closely, it's clear that his design in the picture and his actual character are quite different, with his blue fur originally going up to his head. And while it does raise some questions, it's likely just another inconsistency from the designers, and nothing too deep. Chunky Chimp Also known as Chutney Chimp, Chunky Chimp is a fictional franchise in the Bluey universe, and plays a role in the episode movies, where Bluey, Bingo, and Bandit see a movie with the character, and although it's nothing significant, it really shows how much effort the creators put into making the world of Bluey feel real. Rusty's Motorbike According to the official Bluey website, Rusty can ride a motorbike, and while it's an interesting detail in itself, this is something we've never seen or even heard of in the show, at least as of now, which makes this whole thing a real mystery. However, I'd like to think he does, because that would be awesome. Buddy's Breathing While he isn't a very notable character, Buddy is often seen panting a lot, even during normal activities. And it turns out that this is actually due to his breed, as pugs are known to have difficulty with things such as breathing. But since dog breeds such as pugs aren't natural, it raises the question, how were these man-made breeds developed without humans? Hmm. Jean-Luc Book Cameo In the book Where's Bluey, many characters from the show appear, and while most of it seems normal, John Luke also makes multiple appearances, which implies that he could have met Bluey after the event of camping, but before the ending in the future. With that in mind, it's possible that we might see him again in a future episode, which would be interesting. Gender Swaps In foreign dubs of the show, some characters have been mistaken for being a different gender, as the genders of characters aren't focused on very often. Because of this, Benley is a boy in the Italian dub, and as mentioned before, Mackenzie was originally referred to as a girl in the Latin American dub. Colored Eyes In Bluey, every character has black pupils for their eyes. Except two. These two are known as Sadie and the Takeaway Lady, and as weird as it looks, they are both huskies, which do have colorful pupils, but admittedly it still looks weird when compared to all of the other characters and I do agree that it can look a bit unsettling. 
Chanel. Chanel is the name of Pat's wife and is mostly known for being quite mysterious, as she has never appeared in the show and has only been mentioned by Pat, causing many to wonder about her whereabouts. However, we won't have to wonder about this for too long, as thankfully the creators mentioned that she would appear in a future episode, so that's something to look forward to. Alright, so quick side note, depending on where you watch the episode Sean, some subtitles will say Janelle instead of Chanel, and listening to it closely, it's really hard to tell what Pat or Lucky's dad is actually saying, so it can easily be either name, and not just Chanel. Johnny Johnny is the name given to John Luke in the French dub of Bluey, where he speaks English to a French-speaking Bluey, preserving the message of the episode while making it understandable to French audiences. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching the French dub of Camping, because it's honestly quite fascinating seeing the difference. Licensed Chocolate Just like many franchises, Bluey has been featured on many edible products, with most of them involving chocolate, such as candies, advent calendars, and milk. And even though they're pretty nice, it's pretty ironic considering that actual dogs get seriously ill when consuming chocolate. Also, they do eat actual chocolate in the show, and assuming that the chocolate is real, this either implies that they are an advanced species of dog, or that they are... something else. Deleted Short As of now, the Bluey YouTube channel has every Bluey short available for viewing, except for one, and this one was known as Tongue Twisters, which was uploaded to the channel, but deleted a day after, and has not been re-uploaded since. And while it was considered lost, it is available on other platforms and was even re-uploaded by fans to YouTube, and according to some, it was originally deleted due to an error with the outro. 101 Dalmatians Reference On the front of Chloe's house, we can see that her address has the number 101, and considering the fact that her and her family are Dalmatians, it's obviously a nod to the Disney movie, 101 Dalmatians, which is pretty neat. The Busker is Joff Bush. For those who don't know, the Busker is the name given to a secondary character from Bluey, who is often seen playing music to make money. However, many have also wondered if he's based on Joff Bush, the main composer for the show, as the two look remarkably similar and are often associated with music. And interestingly, Joff himself confirms this, as he actually voices the character, and his profile picture online literally refers to the busker by his name, indicating that the character is in fact meant to represent him. Shipping just like every other fandom, the Bluey fandom is home to many shippings between characters, with the most popular one being between Bluey and Jean-Luc, due to the friendship the two have with each other. However, many others also exist as well, such as Bluey and Mackenzie, Bingo and Leela, Mia and Captain, Band and Uncle Stripe, <coughs> DeviantArt and Fur Affinity. Once again, just like any other fandom, Many have drawn fan art related to Bluey, often posted them on sites such as DeviantArt and Furfinity. And honestly, there isn't that much interesting or great art, but if you look hard enough around the internet, you'll find some pretty nice ones. News article accidentally uses fan art. Speaking of fan art, it's not uncommon for some works to be surprisingly similar to official artwork, which often leads to fan art being mistaken for official images. In the case of a website known as Kidscreen, one of their articles feature an image of Chili being pregnant, which is something that never happens in the actual show, and an article by Kidspot features an image of Banda playing the guitar, which, you can guess, also never happens in the actual show. Bluey takes place in 2020. Unlike most cartoons, Bluey not only takes place in the present day, but seemingly also in specific years. In the episode movies, Bluey, Bingo, and Bandit see a trailer for a movie which is set to release in April of 2020. Therefore, 
This implies that the episode takes place sometime before April 2020, likely a couple weeks or months before. And while it's not that important, it is a pretty interesting thing to note, and does raise a few questions. Cats and Bluey While the show is mainly about dogs and other canines that act like humans, many other animals are also present as well, such as birds and insects. However, one animal that hasn't been seen in the show are cats, as no feral or bipedal ones are actually seen in the show. In fact, the only signs of their existence appear in things such as signs in pictures, but no real or physical appearances. Therefore, it seems that feral or normal cats do exist in the Bluey universe, but I assume they just haven't been seen yet. And while it does make sense with the logic of the show, it really makes you question how dogs became the advanced species over just about everything. Religion and Bluey Similar to most shows, Bluey has also had the occasional seasonal episode, with two based around Christmas and one based around Easter. And while they're quite entertaining, it does bring up the question if religions exist in the Bluey universe, as these holidays are rooted in religious traditions. And in the background of Bluey's house, we see a relatively tall building that appears to resemble a church. With that in mind, there's a good chance that religions do exist in the Bluey universe, which in itself could make their universe be even more connected to ours. But with those connections in mind, the parallels can go even further. I mean, with the same holidays and countries, it would make sense for them to also have a similar history to ours, but we'll talk more about that later. Knock Off Bluey Toys Just like any popular franchise, Bluey has a wide range of merchandise based off the characters and episodes, such as figurines and plushies. However, due to the demand for these toys, they can often be expensive and very difficult to find. As a result, many have accidentally or even intentionally resorted to buying bootlegs to fill the gap, and while some of them look okay, others can be... pretty bad and some of them are just outright insane, as knockoffs tend to be. So if you're looking for Bluey toys, especially online, make sure to check what you're buying. The pilot was a full episode. In the last iceberg, I mentioned both Bluey pilots, one which has never been released, and another which was uploaded onto YouTube. However, what I didn't know at the time, was that the one on YouTube isn't even the complete pilot. In fact, the pilot was about the length of an entire episode, while only about a minute of it has surfaced online. And considering any info about it, the episode was basically the basis for the episode The Weeknd, and likely follows a similar plot, with different characters and background designs. And when it was released, it was shown as a sneak peek of the show, which is why only a part of it has been found. However, it's likely going to be a while before the pilot is released, as it's basically just an early version of an existing episode, and it hasn't received a lot of attention outside of a few discussions. But with that said, I still hope that it does get released in some way. Baki Makadas. Yes, they have ones for Bluey characters too, even though admittedly it's mainly just Chili and Bandit as of now. But I'm sure most of you are just scared to know that these exist at all. So hooray I guess? Death and Bluey Despite being about talking dogs, Bluey takes place in a relatively realistic world with similar functions and rules to ours. And as tragic as it sounds, death does occur in the show, and the subject has actually been covered multiple times. For instance, the episode Copycat is about Bluey feeling regret and sorrow over a budget that she wasn't able to save, with her coping by recreating the scene with the happy ending. And in the episode Flatpak, Bluey actually pretends to pass on, pretending to meet her parents in the afterlife. And while the subject can be hard to cover, Bluey does so in a respectable and understandable way, which really proves how Bluey is more than just a silly kid show. Also, before anyone mentions it, Granddad Bob hasn't died. It has been confirmed that he will appear in future episodes, so that's something to look forward to. Ludo Studio Art Wall. On Instagram, user Mrs. PMB Creations made a post describing her visit to Ludo Studio, 
where she and a few others were able to see the show being produced, and even got a test screening of future episodes. And while it sounds like an awesome experience, there was one picture they took that looked interesting to say the least. In one of the pictures of the studio, a wall full of art can be seen, and while it looks normal at first, upon closer inspection, it has a lot of strange works, ranging from memes, parodies, and interesting fan art. Yeah. Third Healer Child Theory In the last iceberg, I mentioned a scene from the episode of the show where a balloon representing Chili's child pops, causing Bandit and Chili to react in a way some thought was alluding to a possible incident with one of Chili's babies. And while it's likely not true, some have found other hints to support this dark theory. In the episode Sleepy Time, Bingo dreams of traveling through space, seeing different planets along the way. And for this theory, we're going to take a look at what these planets represent. Shortly after she comes out, Bingo's favorite toy, Floppy, comes out of the Earth's moon, which represents how Floppy is close to and beloved by Bingo. And upon meeting each other, the two happily explore the rest of the solar system, where we see representations of the other human characters. For instance, Chili is represented by the Sun, Bandit's represented by Jupiter, and Blue is represented by what might be Venus, although the size and position doesn't exactly line up. And while this is a neat touch, there's another representation that's a lot darker. Remember that supposed incident with Chili's baby? Well, according to anything Alfred's post on Reddit, Mercury, the planet closest to the sun and the one Bingo stands on when talking to Chili, actually represents that first baby, with its close proximity to the sun and the fact that it never opened or lived like the other kids. And while that sounds interesting, there's a few flaws to the theory, as it's unlikely that Bingo would have known about this, let alone put it in her dream. Also, it's not like all the planets represented something anyways, as Mars isn't seen at all, at least closely. But if I had to guess, maybe it represents a future child, but that's also very unlikely. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting theory, but there really isn't enough concrete evidence to support it, so it's still unlikely. Geneva Convention Violation On the package of some bully figurines, a set known as Dr. Checkup can be seen, and while it's a relatively normal set, an odd detail was present whenever it was shown on other sets, and that was the inclusion of a sticker covering the cross on Bluey's hat. And when the sticker is peeled, it shows that the cross is red, despite the actual hat not being colored. And while this doesn't seem like a big deal, there's actually a lot more to the subtle fix than most people realize. For those who don't know, the Geneva Convention is basically a set of rules listing what one can or can't do in war, as well as many other things related to it. And it turns out that one of these rules mentions the use of emblems and badges related to the Geneva Convention, and how they cannot be used outside of their intended purposes. And as you can imagine, one of these emblems is none other than the Red Cross. As a result, the stickers were likely placed as an attempt to hide the Red Cross, considering that the toys obviously aren't proper usage of it, and would have been violating the Geneva Convention. Also, if you were to find these sets, some of the later releases just have a colorist hat with no sticker on the package, meaning that they actually edited the image. So yeah, Bluey almost committed a war crime. Okay, well people actually have to lose their lives in order for it to be considered as such, but it is something interesting to think about. Real Events in Bluey Considering how Bluey takes place in Australia, many have wondered if their history is also a parallel to ours. And from what we've seen, this is likely the case, as they appear to have the same religions as mentioned before. And in the episode Sleepy Time, an American flag is seen on the moon, which implies that the moon landing occurred in the Bluey world, which implies that the space race happened, which implies that the Cold War happened, 
which implies that World War II happened. So yeah, there might be a lot more to this world than we thought. Ink Bunny Similar to Divinor and Fur Affinity, Ink Bunny is also a site where people can post art and pictures, with bluey content also being posted on the site. However, unlike the first two, Ink Bunny is different as it allows people to upload Rule 34 of underage characters, leading to many posting pictures of almost all the Bluey characters doing stuff they wouldn't do in the show. Bandit X Bluey Speaking of Bluey Rule 34, there's this thing where people really like to see Bluey and her dad get it on with each other. Okay, you know what? I think we've been down here long enough. Let's get out of here. And there you have it everyone, the second Bluey Iceberg. Special thanks to everyone who submitted their ideas and corrections in the first one, and a special thanks to all of the articles and posts I used when researching this video. They will be in the description, and until my next video, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Links for those will be in the pinned comment. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But until next time, BMV Productions will be signing out. Have a great day everyone!